Awesome. All right. So um, we are here tonight to debate the master shredder versus I can't see Jenny, so I don't know what she's doing. Okay. So versus holding up. Uh, where is she? There she is. Okay. The master okay. shredder versus um, just a regular shredder, right? Like a like a retro shredder, right? <laughs> This is this is a perfectly good cheese shredder. Thank you very much. It, yes, it is retro, along with all the other retro things that we have happening right now. But along with that it is a family heirloom in, in, in the strongest sense of the word. It's a <laughs> because we probably took it out of somebody's grandmother's kitchen to get it here. But it works just fine. And mm. uh, <laughs> yeah. And it's got it's got four different ways to grate cheese. It's got this really little. I can't really touch it to show you because I will shred the skin off my fingers. But that's beside the point. It's got this little skinny shredder here. It's got the big holes back here. It's got little bitty tiny ones here. I'm not really sure what they use that for, but it's there. And then it's got this slicer here. Which let me tell you what: when you're slicing cheese like this, you want to make sure that you have cheese between you and your fingers. But it's great. It will slice anything. So what you got? So with our master shredder, the thing that's kind of cool about our master shredder is that it does also have multiple cones that you can interchange it with for the different size shreds. It also has a slicer too. We have various cones that are available at any given time. Um, but right now, the ones typically that come with it are the coarse one, and then we also have the fine one. Um, and the good thing about it, you know, you're talking about making sure you're, there's something between your hand and the, the the shredder, right, or the grater. I don't have to worry about that, right, because my hands are going nowhere near this. There are going to be no fingertips, no extra skin or seasoning in my mozzarella, okay? <laughs> Like, I don't have to worry about that. I don't need to pull out the band-aids to shred my cheese. <laughs> okay, so the other thing about this is I looked it up today, and you can buy this at the Walmart store oh. for a little less than $5. And you know what else is amazing about Now, this one's not quite like that because, like I said, this was an heirloom. But the ones that you can buy right now for a little under $5 do you know that if you're if if you're in the mood and you run out of a little cabinet space, the kind of metal that they're made with, you can just squeeze them and they squeeze right together. Wow. <laughs> Which isn't great, but for five dollars you can replace it, but anytime you want to. So right, right. But I mean, like, who really wants to keep replacing their stuff and have to keep like buying more? And you know what else they sell at Walmart? band-aids because that's literally what you're going to need when you're using that so I will say you mentioned that that was an heirloom well you know Tupperware is fought over um in wills and like it's disputed people fight each other for grandma's Tupperware and mom's Tupperware and so this may be a newer product to our line but I can guarantee you there are going to be some fights over this one okay so I can put this right in the bowl well, kind of, because I have to have enough room to get my hand in the bowl too with it, but I can do it like this. And then all I have to do to see how much cheese I have grated is pull it up and look, and then stick it back down there on the cheese and do it some more. It's super simple to see how much cheese I've already grated. Yeah, well, you know, I, I'll show you simple, okay? Because ours grates right into the bowl and I actually have it grating right into a measuring cup, right? So this is right into our pitcher, our measuring pitcher. And I just have it right underneath there. And I'm going to just show you how fast it is because I can get the big block. I'm to, Right now I'm doing Parmesan cheese because I need it for a recipe for tomorrow. But I can get the big bo block of cheddar or whatever from Costco, Sam's Club, big box store, whatever. It will take me um, like maybe a minute to like shred an entire big block of cheese. And so it saves me so much time. And I remember having that shredder that you have i remember having that grater the box grater and yeah it took a minute okay like i mean it took a minute and you're talking about that you can put it right in the bowl um have you ever gotten like you're trying to do it because you're in a hurry and so you shred 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 and then you accidentally like tip the bowl because that's happened to me but it doesn't happen here right 
So this right there, I just did like half a block of this amazing, super tasty Parmesan cheese. And now I'm gonna do the other half and boom, I'm done. Okay, so as far as you being faster, that's true. But see, this can be a family project because when you get tired of grading, you can hand the cheese to somebody else and let them do it too. Although you have to watch with the kids because if their fingers get to go. All right, so here's the thing. I think one thing we can definitely agree on is that shredding your own cheese is way better than buying shredded cheese. Uh, way better. And we should probably, in all fairness, just tell people that if they want to know more about your newer Great Master Shredder, that they should get hold of their most favorite champion Tupperware person and learn all about it. Absolutely. That is definitely something we can agree on. So that's this week's debate.